All the leaders, they have committed to achieve the 30 by 30 goal for the Mediterranean. It is important to achieve it in the Mediterranean than anywhere else. Because the Mediterranean is a semi-enclosed sea, it has four times more leader than all the other ocean basin. It has a lot of land-based pollution that comes into the Mediterranean from the coast. And there is the phenomenon of acidification and global warming for the Mediterranean waters. So we definitely need to work more on that. So this is why Monaco, this is why Greece, other countries, they become leaders in this field. We can definitely work more to help to restore the biodiversity in the Mediterranean. We could work in order to restore the health of the Mediterranean, to promote issues and projects to depollute our ocean. It is very important to develop more and new sustainable tourism models and try not to burden our waters from the land activities and also to create routes for greener shipping. So if we work on the industries that at this time impact neg negatively the Mediterranean, for example, as I said, shipping, tourism, the waste management, and all the activities that are close to the sea, then I think we could take very decisive steps forward. Well, the Monaco Blue Initiative event is very important because it has brought together many people that are so knowledgeable about the Mediterranean and the ocean management that they have really brought together knowledge from all over the fields. We have very renowned scientists here, we have philanthropists that have developed and they're willing to develop new projects, uh, people from international organizations and from countries that are leaders. So what I've seen here today is more action, more climate action, more ocean action. I really expect to have very good outcomes and to raise the ambition for the Oscars.